Hey guys, it's your main man. Actually, I'm bringing you guys kind of a special video. Basically, a lot of people have been asking me lately uh, about the different kind of emulators I use and how I record. So, today will basically be a video basically telling you guys how I do everything on my channel, what emulators I use, what kind of configuration tools I use as well, and all that jazz. So, the first thing people have been asking me about, I think it was uh, a long time subscriber of mine, Master Muffin HD, who asked me about uh, PPSSPP. Now, PPSSPP is a is a uh, PS3 emulator, no PS PSP emulator, and uh, this is their website. Everything that I'm going to be talking about will be in the link below, so go check it out. Uh, all you have to do is go to the PPSSPP website, just put it in uh, Google, and uh, the newest version is 0 0.95. All you have to do is choose which one you want. For example, I have Windows, you can get that, and you can get it. Also, works on the iOS devices and other stuff as well. So you can just download it. The re the version I use is 0 0.91. Uh, the newest version is 0 0.95. You can get that as well. And uh, once you download it, extract it, and all that jazz, you should get a folder that says PP SSPP64 or or um, 32 bit, depending on which kind of computer you use, either 32 bit or 64 bit. To check which uh, kind of bit you use, uh, you can go on your control panel system, and there it should say 64 bit operating system, and so on. So, all right, so once you got that, let's open it up, let's make this huge. And uh, this is PSP, and uh, you got emulation. Make sure you uh, take all these boxes here, and uh, running OpenGL, so on, and that as well. Uh, you don't need to worry about debug options. Uh, this is the uh, rendering resolution. You can increase that. Uh, you got the rendering mode and text scaling, and so on and so forth click all of these and those are my settings for that and those are help now let's go into the game settings now game settings should be like this usually I would keep it on the default the default ones are the best uh, options in my opinion you do not want to be messing around with this stuff it's kind of what what I think is the best so and anyway we go to audio and uh, you've got the a track free plus plugin now this is a very important plugin which enables uh basically the the music from the emulator in previous versions of the emulator you couldn't have a uh, sound you couldn't have like game audio you could only have like basic sound but this plugin allows it allows you to uh allows that kind of sound to be inputted um you press this button and you can download it uh, or you can do it manually just type in a track free plus plugin into Google you should be able to find it over here is the control button and the control mapping so as you can see you've got keyboard uh, Xbox 360 and normal pads so you can change this uh, depending on what kind of control scheme you use the best thing about this is that you can uh, use uh, two kind of setup controls at the same time so I can use a pad and I can use a keyboard the best the best uh, system I think that does it is the DS3 tool uh, DS3 tool allows you to use things like a PS3 controller or a Xbox 360 controller on your on your computer as you can see I sometimes use my PS3 controller I don't have an Xbox 360 one but uh, you can sort that out in here and it's pretty goddamn simple so yeah usually the default is good but you can change it around anytime you want on screen controls that's for uh, um, iPhones and stuff 
and you've got system which is okay I wouldn't recommend using uh, cheats because they kind of break the game and um, just don't do it it's not a very good idea so once you have all these ready and uh, all you have to do is click the button you want or you could go to load let's stop this for a second you can go to load and you can check out your ISO files and so on like I got all these games uh, the biggest drawback to PPSSPP is that it doesn't necessarily work with every game certain games like Tag Force 5 for example um, some of the textures don't load like I get past the first screen and then it just won't load after that so please keep that in mind while you're playing the games and uh, it won't work on every game so that's PPSSPP the next thing is probably Dolphin so let's get that up now Dolphin is a Wii U emulator as you can see here you can use a Wii U control and you can use the USB I, I don't do that I just use my uh, keyboard controls because um, I don't have a, I can't bother to get the money for a receiver so um, all you have to do is go to the website here and go to download and you should be able to download the newest version which is 4.0 the version that I use is much much older is actually the 3.0 version and uh, you should be able to get this thing up and ready and it's, I'm using the 3.0 version long time but it works well for me at least so I don't have much problems as you can see uh, when you load up when you click open and you load up wherever your um, ISOs may be I think it's I got stuff and yeah wherever your ISOs may be you can open them and they'll be stored here so you can just click on them and it'll be automatically played let's go into emulation emulation you don't necessarily need to touch um, file you don't need to touch either you can boot from CD but DVD drive but I don't really do that uh, now you can go to, now to check out the configuration which is the thing that a lot of people ask me usually I keep it with the default settings but I change the uh, rounds of a couple of stuff like here uh, dual core enable idle skipping this stuff recompiler uh, you can enable the cheats but sometimes they don't work so I usually keep that off panic handlers and you can check out the uh, theme and so on and so forth this is the sound put that on there enable D DTK music and D sound X audio just keep it on D sound and sample rate should be uh, uh, 48,000 I think that says don't worry about that this is uh, the aspect ratio Re uh, all games run all most Wii games run at 16 by 9 so keep that in mind uh, just keep that in that and that's the path setting so you can uh, see all the uh, ISOs wherever they are so next we go to graphics and uh, depending on what kind of graphics you, graphic uh, card you use you change that like I can change it to that and uh, I have these uh, that's my adapter, that's my graphics card. Uh the resolution, uh you can change the resolution depending on which one you which one you want. Uh for YouTube I use this resolution because that's what the basic res resolution for YouTube is and it gives you HD but to be honest no Wii game is HD so I recommend putting on that. Run into main window so it doesn't like render out a, a completely different box. It's just in the main window and you got enhancements put that on one you might uh, in some cases you might want two but I just put it on one because it makes no difference and hacks you know texture and uh, you don't want the only two you want is fast memory maps and disable per pixel depth you don't want any of the others and advanced don't click any of these just leave them blank unless you know how they work don't bother uh, and uh, sound that's pretty much it 
Uh, next up is the gamepad settings. Like for, I haven't done any uh, game GameCube games, so that's how it works. Again, use DS uh, free tool to map your uh, PS3 or Xbox 360 controller to these controls and Wiimote, uh, emulator Wiimote configure and that's what I use. I basically use all the bottom button, bo bottom button, bottom buttons on a QWERTY keyboard so it's pretty much simple as that and you got the IR and you got shake that's pretty much what I use for Innocent 11. I don't really play any of the other games because they don't really work. I do play Sonic Colors on a daily basis, but um, let's load up uh, something like uh, Innocent 11 and it should just do that, no problem. And this is the rendering in the main window. So this is not how I record, I usually just uh, do that and use Camtasia to record only this part because that's all you really need you can make make it bigger make it smaller but I usually keep it to this size because it's just hell of a lot better and uh, that is what Dolphin that's how Dolphin works so the next one I'm going to talk about is something that I haven't used yet but I will try to use later on that is PCS PCSX2 which is a PS2 emulator and uh, this is what it is and uh, this is the site I got it from you can it has a lot of helpful stuff like configuration settings and so on and uh, this is how PC wrong one that's the program log you don't need to care about that alright so whenever you want to boot a game you want to boot a game fast instead of uh, full because fast is just hell of a lot better and looks much better than full trust me ISO selector you can browse your ISOs and uh, these are all the ISOs I have and uh, yeah so ISO plugin no disk emulation settings now this is where it gets a bit confusing uh, just uh, these are the ones I use uh, pause the video at any time just to look at them a bit more easily and standard you can change this to wherever you want but standard is 3 to 4 aspect ratio because um, no game really is at um, no PS3 PS2 game is at um, a higher kind of thing so there's no point putting on widescreen and speed hacks speed hacks is very confusing uh, really do not want to be messing with, with that sometimes you want to like put it to one but I, the highest you really should put it is put it to one but I usually just leave this and game fixes you do not need to touch that that's pretty much it uh, memory cards not really important video video here we go um, plugin settings now this is uh, depending on like what kind of thing you want you can Sometimes you want to do 3D, but I, I put it on uh, normal hardware because uh, it just looks weird if I put it on the other stuff. Over here is the audio settings. Pretty simple. And the controller pad, same thing. As I said before, map using the DS3 tool. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing else you'd really need to worry about. So that is PS PCSX2. And the last one we're going to talk about is my Decim emulator, which is a 3DS emulator. Uh, the newest version is the 9.9. .9. I'm actually using 9.8 because um, it kind of works. It works for me, and I don't really feel there's much of a difference. But I like I like how it works but uh, let's sc full screen this and uh, let's go to the emulation you don't need to worry about that and uh, this is where you can get your ROMs and stuff open ROM and this is where all my ROMs are and the LCD vertical rotation, nose rotation, window size uh, I usually put it at 1 
so it's small and I can mess around with it later and it's kind of like I can edit a bit faster and the video comes out a bit better but it's not much of a difference screen se separation you don't want any screen se separation and uh, that's pretty much it next is the 3d settings uh, depending on what kind of 3d settings you want you want to activate all of these everything because it makes the game look much better uh, control config again just map using the DS3 tool hotkey and that's for shortcuts sound settings uh, don't press that always put it on dual SPU sync always put it on that and this one even though it says none fast this sounds bad it actually sounds hell of a lot better uh, this is the uh, DS we're talking about so it's not gonna be that crazy so remember that just put it on none it will run ridiculously fast uh, frameware settings you don't have to worry about that emulation settings don't click anything on there unless you know what you're doing don't click anything just don't don't, don't touch anything microphone settings you don't need to worry about that path settings don't necessarily worry about that this is frame skip uh, you have limit frame rate optimized skipping uh, I put it on 5 you can put it on 4 I recommend 4 or 5 um, these two make uh, the animation a bit more smoother so if you have either, if you have the computer running you can run that and uh, nothing else really important tools you don't necessarily need to touch that and that's pretty much it so I can run let's say Soul Silver and it should work yep as you can see it's working like a charm and there's no sound <laughs> oh, yeah simple as so that is Desum and that is pretty much it uh, the last thing I want to talk about is pretty much uh, all these emulators are, are how they work is completely dependent on the kind of hardware you're running like I have a laptop it's pretty powerful you can run all of this stuff uh, easily not necessarily easily there are a couple of problems like uh, with PC PC with the PS2 emulator it just uh, sometimes it drops in frames or sometimes it slows down sometimes but uh, the rest of it it works fine completely fine and it's completely dependent on what kind of hardware specs you're running uh, please note that even if even if uh, for example dolphin it says that what is the yeah it says that do progress is present faster all that crap it will say it will say this stuff that's what you need those are the system requirements does you may need a much stronger computer to run dolphin or the ps2 emulator because of course they are consoles and they require a hell of a lot more power to actually run at full speed so I would recommend getting a very strong complete computer to run all of these kind of files and stuff so yeah that's all I have to say for today hope you guys in well hope I helped you guys uh, and uh, hope I help you guys with any of your questions if you have any more questions put them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as best as, as possibly as I can and uh, I'll see you guys next time peace